Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve two three mark questions from Introduction to Trigonometry chapter, which had appeared in CBSC Board Exam 2025. So let us start with the first question now. Prove that cos theta minus two cos cube theta over sine theta minus two sine cube theta plus cot theta is equal to zero. Now here we have to prove that the left hand side is equal to zero. So let us start with the left hand side term starting with this fraction. Now here we can see that in the numerator of this fraction cos theta is a common factor. So we have taken cos theta as a common factor out and inside the bracket remains 1 minus 2 cos square theta over similarly in the denominator we can see that sin theta is a common factor. So we have taken it out times inside the bracket remains 1 minus 2 sin square theta is equal to. Now here we are going to make use of a trigonometric identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now in place of 1 over here we are going to replace sin square theta plus cos square theta. So in the numerator we get cos theta times sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 cos square theta over in the denominator we get sin theta times now in place of 1 we have written sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin square theta. Now simplifying this we get cos theta times sin square theta. Now cos square theta minus 2 cos square theta they are like terms. So they will subtract each other giving us minus cos square theta. Similarly in the denominator we get sin theta times cos square theta. Now sin square theta minus 2 sin square theta is going to give us minus sin square theta. Now here we can see that the numerator and the denominator will become same if we take this negative sign as a common factor out. So here the numerator becomes minus cos theta times now since we have taken the negative factor out this bracket becomes cos square theta minus sin square theta over the denominator stays the same. Now these two brackets have become same so we can cancel them off from the numerator and denominator and cos theta over sin theta is going to give us cot theta. So minus of this fraction is going to give us minus cot theta. Now this is the value of this fraction. So minus cot theta plus cot theta they will add up to give us 0. So we have proved that the left hand side is equal to 0. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the or question. Given that sin theta plus cos theta is equal to x prove that sin raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to 4 theta is equal to 2 minus x square minus 1 the whole square over 2. So here we have been given that x is equal to sin theta plus cos theta. So let us begin by solving the right hand side first. So here we have considered the right hand side and in place of x we have replaced its value that is sin theta plus cos theta. So this right hand side becomes 2 minus sin theta plus cos theta the whole square minus 1. Now this entire bracket gets squared over 2. Now let us simplify this fraction. So here we have written 2 minus. Now we have expanded this bracket that is sin theta plus cos theta the whole square by using a plus b the whole square formula. So this expands as sin square theta plus 2 times sin theta times cos theta plus cos square theta minus 1 the whole square divided by 2. Now we have an identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So here we can see that in this bracket we have sin square theta plus cos square theta. So this will be equal to 1. So this numerator simplifies as 2 minus 1 plus 2 times sin theta times cos theta minus 1 the whole square divided by 2. Now here plus 1 and minus 1 will add up to give us 0. So we can just cancel them off giving us 2 minus 2 times sin theta times cos theta the whole square over 2. Now further simplifying this fraction we get 2 minus now the square of this bracket gives us 2 square is 4 sin theta the whole square becomes sin square theta times cos theta the whole square becomes cos square theta over 2. Now in the numerator 2 is a common factor so we have taken it out. So 2 times 1 minus 2 times sin square theta times cos square theta divided by 2. 
Now this 2 in the numerator can be cancelled with this 2 in the denominator giving us 1 minus 2 sine square theta times cos square theta. Now let us do a simple manipulation over here. Now this one can be written as 1 square and we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So in the next step in place of 1 we have written sine square theta plus cos square theta and then we have squared it minus 2 times sine square theta times cos square theta. Now we are going to again expand this bracket by using a plus b the whole square identity. So we get square of sine square theta which is sine to the power of 4 theta plus 2 times sine square theta times cos square theta plus square of cos square theta gives us cos to the power of 4 theta minus 2 sine square theta times cos square theta. Now here we can see that plus 2 sine square theta cos square theta and minus 2 sine square theta cos square theta will add up to give us 0. So we can cancel them out giving us sine to the power of 4 theta plus cos to the power of 4 theta. So this was equal to the left hand side. So we have proved that the given right hand side can be written in terms of left hand side. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.